Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have just another very quick update as to how I'm going with the scavenger hunt. Um, I'm thinking once I've done this video, the next video will probably be the final uh, flip through with the final prompts. I've still got a few more to go. There's a couple of really tricky ones for me. Um, pop top, I'm not really sure what that is. I think it refers to the drink at the top of a drink, but if you can actually explain it, that would be great. Please leave it in the comment box. Um, I've also got, uh, let me see, something repaired too. Um, that one I don't really know. And I've got to draw my breakfast, which is a little challenging because generally speaking, I don't eat breakfast. So I'm not sure about that one. And something I've found as well. So I might actually have to go out and look for something to find, which could be a bit problematic because I mean, um, as I, when I'm filming this, we're actually in lockdown again for our third time in Melbourne. So um, it's supposed to only be uh, five days, but um, we were told that last time and I think it turned out to be five months. So we'll see how we go this time. But anyway, um, other than that, I'm really well and I hope everybody is also. And I, help, I hope that your COVID situation is either improving or at least you're managing to get lots of craft in and it's not sort of um, causing too much stress or anxiety. Uh, so, back to the scavenger hunt. Okay, um, let me see. This one is my orange page. And uh, basically, I just used some orange paint. Um, actually, there were three shades of orange paint in there in the background, and I just basically uh, painted them over. Then I did some stamping. It was supposed to be all orange, but the brush obviously was a little bit tinted, and there is some um, dots there as well. Um, I can't remember how I did that, actually. I think it might have been a stencil. Yes, I think it was a stencil with paint, um, the leftover paint sort of um, pressed through. And then I went and found as many orange pictures as I could. Um, <coughs> so I do have the fish, um, and I've got a butterfly, some flowers, a shell, um, some carrots down there in the corner. So it's kind of a whimsical sort of collage picture. I thought it kind of turned out quite well actually. I was kind of pleased with that. Um, and on the flip side, and don't laugh at my picture, I'm not the best drawer. Um, it's supposed to be Wonder Woman, which is favourite cartoon character. And I've got String and Cord, which is her, um, I think a lasso, golden lasso, or lasso. Mm. And we've got, um, oh, the, the background was me blowing ink with a straw. So that was that one, which I thought it turned out quite well. Um, we all did have a bit of a laugh at my picture, but oh well, never mind. <laughs> I tried. Now this one, um, kind of a totally different style when you, when you look at it. This is my page of swatches. And these are paint chips that I um, liberated from Bunnings. <laughs> because um, you never know when you're going to paint the house. Um, so I got a few of those and I did a little paintbrush and paint in there. So that's that one. This one, um, <laughs> I don't know about this one. This one was my nature page because uh, trees and a monkey is nature and it's also the pet or animal. So that's that one. And that was done with stenciling, uh, a couple of tones of green. The paper is a, it's a paper behind, just from a scrapbook pa uh, pad. And then I stencil that bit on there. So that's that one. Uh, oh, you've seen that one, but I had to do the other side. This one is my handprint, um, and I just put paint on my hand. And I did this the same day I did the, the orange page, hence it's an orange uh, print. Um, and I thought I'll just write the palm reading uh, lines on there and I just used up uh, I just did some texture in there just to um, or marker just to cover that the part that didn't print and there's washi tape around the edges so that was that one quite a simple one that one 
Uh, this one here has a f the feathers, it has the pocket which is here and it has lyrics for us from a song which is here and the song is Let Me See You Shake a Tail Feather which um, I can't remember who sang it now no it's gone um, and I did spray the paper after I printed with the song lyrics just with some um, Dilutions spray inks uh, I think there were two colours uh, three colours there was there was gold which was actually Lindy's one and then there was the Dilutions purple and Dilutions Oh, it's a hot pink colour, I can't remember what it is. And I did the same with the pocket and the um, feathers and just sort of decorated them. And they do come out, but I'm not going to pull them out because it's quite difficult to get them back in. So that was that one. On the back, this is my circles one, and I felt like doing some slow stitching. Um, these, these circles, I actually had a couple done from when I was doing my quilt, which I'm still doing, um... I did some of these for my quilt so I had a couple and I thought I might as well add to it so I kind of really like this page actually so um, yeah I like this one so I had a bit of fun one evening just making up some more circles so that's my circles page uh, <laughs> this one um, is a cartoon character which is uh, the Betty Boop We've got finger paint, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, clean up mess page was, I used the baby wipes, which I used to clean up a page. The f uh, rag flag, which um, I found out is a paper clip with a rag or a fabric on top. And that holds the card closed. And in the, oh, and it's also a greeting card that I used. Inside, I did some finger painting. I also um, have my favourite childhood toy, which is a doll, which I still have so I could take the picture of. Um, still not in bad condition, considering I've had her for um, a long time, maybe 40-something years. So um, she's looking pretty good still. Uh, I did knit the cardigan for her, and I did actually knit that when I was, I was um, young. Um, probably must have been maybe high school because I felt she needed a cardigan. The dress is original and I really tried not to mess with her hair too much but um, yeah, here we go. So I did write a little bit about that as well. Uh, I think that's all of those. Yeah, that one. Now I'll just pop this on. I have to be really careful popping this one on. As you will see this one is my foil, or sorry, my aluminium foil, and I did emboss it um, using an embossing folder, and it's already getting a bit damaged. Had a bit of trouble sticking this down, so I might have to try another glue. And then I also did, um, this is embossed, I used Distress Ink on the embossing, or inside the embossing folder, uh, which is how it got that watercolour sort of look. And this was my unused supply, the embossing folders. I This one I'd never used before. Um, I've probably got about maybe six or seven, and I very, very rarely use them. Um, so I thought that was good for my unused supply. You can just make out the um, embossing under there. So that's that one. Uh, I'll show you that one last. This one is my, um, let me see, non favourite non-art supply, which is actually the bubble wrap, which I used in the background um, with the two colours of paint, just um, stamping it into the paint and then onto the page. And that was a nice background for these rose image that I cut out from a Daphne's diary. The word roses is actually wrote in pink lipstick. Um, and there are a few little dots that maybe you won't be able to see, but those there were done with pink lipstick as well. And I've used that for my five senses. So I've got, see the roses bloom, hear the bees buzzing among the petals, feel the sharpness of the thorns, smell the beautiful scent, enjoy the taste of rosehip tea. That was the most challenging because um, I don't usually eat petals or anything, so I thought... That's stretching it, but that's fine. So that's that one. Now, the one that I did the most on is this one. 
Um, okay, let me see. Where do I start? All right. The bar soap wrapper is the little, uh, the book, right, which is actually a junk journal. So it's actually a miniature junk journal. So it says miniature scavenger hunt journal 2021. Uh, I used junk mail. I actually cut up a catalogue uh, that was about our, it's a bit hard to see because I've co covered most of it, but it was about our rail system and the improvements they're making. So I cut that up um, and made the pages. It's miniature. Um, I've got the definition of an unknown un un sorry an unknown word and I will um, flick through it I'll just find the definition or maybe I'll flick through it so what I've got is I've got a little um, uh, journaling card with the veggie stickers and they're all the only ones I had and I kind of had to because we're in lockdown we can only go to the supermarket so and I actually don't buy a lot of fruit um, so it was a little challenging to get those. It's quite busy at the supermarket at the moment because, well, of course, everyone goes because that's the only place you can go. So <clears throat> standing there peeling off stickers from the fruit was a little challenging. I didn't want to make it too obvious because, you know, you don't want people to think you're a total, total nutcase. Um, okay, so that's just another page I used some stickers. I might just, there we go. Then I have, now these ones are actually the Band-Aids. So those two ice creams are Band-Aids. I'll just show you. They're from this box here, which I bought um, because they were so cute looking. Look, they're totally impractical as Band-Aids, but they were cute, so I bought them. Um, so I thought that was a perfect way to use them up, actually. And the next page, just some um, printed vellum with some little butterflies. And this one here is my definition of an unknown word. It's I think it's pronounced pavanine. Pavanine. Um, it's uh, an adjective, and it's of or like a peacock. So I put a picture of a peacock in as well. And next I have just a little tag, tiny little tag, just sits in there. Now this one are these ones are my safety pins. So they're just on there as a bit of a like a shaky thing. So that's those ones. Um, oh, it's just another picture. I think that's all. And just some more um, imitation tea cards. Oh, this one here, which I'm just thinking. Oh, yeah, there it is. Miniature greeting card. Um, I'll just pop that down. Here's my very tiny little miniature greeting card that I had to make because I didn't have one small enough. It just says Happy Mother's Day. It's got a sticker and it's blank inside. So that sits into the little purple pocket like so. And the next page just has um, some paper and a sticker and then a stamp and a little decorative sticker there. So that's my... Um, miniature miniature scavenger hunt journal with lots of the different prompts that I really didn't know how else to use um, I thought um, when I made the mini journal I thought perfect opportunity to use some of those up so that's those uh, and I've shown you that one so that's my update um, of the pages I've done now this is where I'm keeping track of them and this will also I'll cut this up and actually put it in as pages when I do the um, cover and I will do the next few as a final flip through I think so basically all I've got left is toilet paper um, which of course now we're in lockdown suddenly the shelves are empty again it's a little crazy we never ran really ran out the first time but I don't know what people think I'd, honestly um, matchbook might be a little tricky uh, create a map should be fine I'll just make a map the necklace and chain, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do there because the book's already quite dimensional. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll use a real one or whether I'll draw one or maybe find one in a magazine. Pop top I've got um, to find. I don't know about that one. Puzzle of your choice. I shouldn't have too much of a problem with that one. Something found, as I said, might be tricky. Draw my breakfast. I might just have to make up what I sort of would eat for breakfast. Rusty page I'm not really sure about um, whether I just do rust coloured or whether I find something that's rusty. 
Um, just thinking now, some sort of steampunky thing kind of comes to mind. Um, we'll see about that one. And then something repaired, which I might actually have to break something to repair it. I'm not sure. Um, and then I've got a wild card, which I haven't even... Last year I remember doing a cat page from, I think, um, but this year I'm not sure what I'll do. So a few more to go, and that will probably be the last video with a flip through. Um, I think that's about it. If you have any suggestions for those pages, please feel free to um, put them in the comment box. Um, there are a couple that I really am stumped on, so that would be great if you've got any ideas. Alright, well thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.